right, let's talk about how we're going to integrate enterprise security into SOAR slash Phantom. I'm here on Splunk Base, and I've put in, I did a search for Splunk SOAR, and I get back this Splunk app for SOAR export, and there's also Splunk app for SOAR. If I have this correct, export will be going on to our Splunk enterprise security, and um, if I was trying to set up so that Phantom was exporting its logs to Splunk, I'd want to put this on my indexers and stuff like that. But I'm not, I'm not worried about that. I have a totally different video on how to do that export. Um, I'm only, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to, we're only focusing on getting enterprise security events into Splunk. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this app and I'll just need to log in and I'll be back in just a minute. I am back, I've clicked the download button, I'm ready to go. So, one of the things we've done is make sure we know, I'm gonna show you where I'm at in SOAR, which I've gone to administration, and then I go to user settings, user management users, and I need to make sure that I have a user, so I can go click a user if I need to, and I make it an automation user, give it a name. In this situation, I put it as shdev. I'm just gonna use one I already have here. You'll need to create a new one, but it's really not that hard. Just do auto. And you can put foo here, some name. If you hit save, you'd have the exact same thing. And you'll notice if I go click here, I get the same results. But I don't want to use that. I want to just stay with the one I've been I've been using. SHDev. If I come in, I can click permissions, or I can click the name, and I want to make sure that I show my token, because ultimately I'm going to need some authentication to be able to use the REST API to be able to access Phantom Soar. All right, I've got that information. Now I come into here, and I'm going to go to this is my Splunk Enterprise. This is my indexer. This I don't actually have my Splunk. There's my enterprise security instance. I want it on there. And we notice I don't have the app, so we're gonna find more apps. I'm just gonna go hit the gear. I'm gonna install an app from the file. I could have searched for it from the interface, but it, I'm, I just prefer to go get it. So here we go, we upload this export. I hit upload. Let it clunk away. Shouldn't take too long. I can't remember if it's going to ask for a restart or not. Yep, it's going to ask for a restart. So I'm going to restart. I'm going to pause the video and we're going to come back because it, it could take a few minutes. So I'm going to hit the restart now. Yep, and pause the video. All right, I've got a restart, so I'll hit OK. Log back in. And now I should have a new app appearing over here. When I log in, click my Splunk Enterprise. And there it is, Splunk app for SOAR export. And we're going to add a new, and we're going to, oops, not that, my bad, we're going to configurations. And we're gonna create a server, and we need that authorization configuration. So I go back over to SOAR, and I can just hit copy to clipboard. It's going to copy this piece here. Make sure you don't have the high token on there. You want to make sure you have this long thing. If you click the high token, you'll be stars. Stars will not copy over, and you'll have an authentication issue. And so I'm going to put this as phantom, no proxy, no adaptive response relay. So we're just we're good to go. Hit that. It's going to make sure it can connect. All right, newbie mistake, I forgot, certificate verify failed because I have a self-signed cert, and it says right here, HTTPS certificate verification is enabled. We need to turn that off. If I go to the Splunk documentation, it will tell me how to do that, manage HTTPS certificates, and basically, we need to go into the phantom.conf or the soar.conf, depending on which one you have, and you go and change verify certs. And so we'll go do that right now. Terminal. OK. 
Phantom. All right. Uh, that's not the, wow, I'm really on my A game today. That's not the machine I need to do this on. I need to go into my SOAR, so. So I am going to my SOAR box, not, not my SOAR box, to my enterprise security box, not my Phantom box. Phantom doesn't need, have anything to do with it. <coughs> I need to fix this on enterprise security. My enterprise security instance is 0 0.84. So that should work. Let me go run it. All right, so if I go in there, Splunk, Etsy, apps, there should be a sore. Sore. Do not see it. Okay, let's get a listing. There it is, right there, Phantom. CD Phantom. If I go into local, I'm going to viphantom.conf. It's got enable logging cool. I'm going to come down and I can just copy that stanza. So to disable, we value equals false. So I will copy that. Restart Splunk. Be back in a minute. All right, Splunk is restarted. I should be able to now log in, and hopefully that error has gone away. Wow, the certification. HTS verification is disabled. Create server. I'm gonna have to paste, get the new message again. Copy to clipboard. Regenerate an authentication token. No idea why it didn't like that. Copy. Try this again. Paste. All right, we're good to go. Usually a general good rule after you do that, sync playbooks. This means go grab all the playbooks from SOAR that you've got enabled. All right, now, I'm going to do a little playing around here. We're going to go to Enterprise Security. And we're going to go grab our Incident Management, Incident Review. We've got ourselves a ticket. I just want to show the ability to do an adaptive response and send it over. All right, so I got a, a YouTube Notable. If I come in here, I now have the ability to say action, run an adaptive response action. Add a new responsive active action. And I can run a playbook in SOAR. So I can send a playbook to SOAR. It'll automatically come back into it. Or I can just send this straight to SOAR. I'm going to do a send to SOAR just so we can see it showing up there. And it's going to ask me which SOAR instance. There should be my Phantom, the one I just built. Sensitivity, we're going to go TLP red. Hi. We're going to put events. That should be the default. Let's go make sure. I come in here. I'm going to go look and make sure. If I go to event settings, make sure I have that. Label settings. I can use events. Okay. It knows what that is. So we'll use an events. 
I'll just leave that alone. Search name, no need to group. We'll leave that all alone and I'll hit run. Okay, it tells me it's been sent. If I close that, I will go look in, go into my Splunk Sword administration. If I come in here and go to sources, there's my network YouTube correlation search for lame. It ran it right there. That's awesome. So let's show one last thing. I'm going to come back here. I can do it. I, there's plenty of places I can do this. I'm going to come down here. There I can see my adaptive response invocation. There's a log. It'll tell me that I sent it to, uh, that I ran it. Anyway, there's just a history there, which you can see. Let's see. We'll do another adaptive response here. Run adaptive response. I won't actually finish this one, but I just want to show choosing a playbook. So if I come down here, run a playbook in SOAR, I should, once I click my phantom, here's all of my, these are all playbooks. I can choose which playbook I want to run. And so, yeah, it's, it's just, and then you just pick that and we'll run it that way. I'm going to do one last thing, and that's how can I make, what What if I don't want to manually do it? I want it part of the correlation search. So if I come in here, audit, sorry, not audit, configure, content, content management, and I go grab my YouTube correlation search. Enabled. There's my YouTube. I guess I could have actually done it right from the investigation piece, but we're going to come down here and we can actually add an adaptive response action. And from there, we can say run a playbook or send to sort and then just fill it out the same way. That means anytime an investigation a correlation search fires, it will actually send it to Phantom, and you don't even have to go manually put them in there. So that's another method of doing it. Um, I'm going to show quick, and my next video in this series will show how I can set up SOAR to actually send the log, the, its results, what it does on your thing, back to Splunk. Um, and that that finishes the whole the whole. Uh, correlation the collaboration between Splunk and Phantom uh, the, the enterprise security and Phantom we've shown how to send stuff to Phantom now we want Phantom to be able to do stuff and update the tickets in enterprise security anyway I hope this has been helpful click follow the next video in this playlist and you'll we'll show how to have source send stuff back anyway I hope this has been helpful and helps you move from being a lame analyst to a Splunk ninja